Hello everybody. Today we are connecting shapes to one point perspective. We are starting out with this U right here. Now I know we've done letters before, but we have not done any letters that have curved edges. So I wanted to show you how to do that. Anything that has curved edges. So to start out with, you go from the corner to the vanishing point, just like you normally would. We don't do this one since we don't want to draw through the U, but we do connect this one. Now there, you're going to stop right when that other side intersects. And then the bottom does not really have a corner. So how do you connect something that doesn't have a corner to the vanishing point? Well, if it's got a curved edge like this letter does, you line up the ruler on the vanishing point keep it there keep like the axis of the ruler there and you slide the other side of the ruler towards the curve until it's touching like right there so again you put the ruler on the vanishing point keep your finger there and then with your other hand you rotate the ruler towards the letter right where it's about to hit you stop and you connect the letter there don't connect it outside. Don't connect it too far in. It's right when it's about to hit or it's about to touch that um, curve is where you stop. So again, you place the ruler on the vanishing point, rotate it towards the letter. Make sure you keep it over here on the vanishing point. Right there where it touches, right when it first touches. In other words, you don't want to go too far in because then it won't match. It needs to be right on the very, very edge where it's right there about to touch that letter that's where you connect it so now I've connected all the corners and the curves that i need to connect now all i have to do is close up that letter so first off decide how wide you want that side to be or the edges to be and you are going to match that width here and here so let's say i wanted to start out on this side so here the line that i'm going to be closing up is straight vertical and then at the bottom it curves so keep in mind you're going to copy that same look that same direction on your edge so i'm going to line up my ruler on the edge i don't want the edge to be too wide so i'm going to stop about there i'm going to draw my vertical line right at that point here it starts to curve a bit so i'm going to stop with the ruler there in other words i didn't go straight down because then it wouldn't match it needs to match exactly so this edge needs to match exactly with this edge so if this is curved out that way you're going to continue with that line and you're also going to curve it in that same direction until it goes behind the other side just like that erase your connecting line you no longer need and then you do the same thing here. So on this other side, remember, look at the thickness that you left here. You basically wanna leave the same amount of thickness on this other side. You don't wanna go like from here to here because then that side would be really wide and that side would be too skinny. So the width of both of your sides has to match. So on this one, I went from here to there. So I'm gonna line up my ruler here and I'm gonna go to about there to give the same width to this side that we have on this side. So I'm gonna draw my vertical line and then I'm gonna stop because right at that point I have a curve. So it curves in and it goes towards the right. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. So I started out with a straight line around there. I'm gonna start to curve it. And I'm gonna take that across until it meets the other line, just like that. So take your eraser, get rid of your connecting lines. And then you can always adjust it. So if you feel like it doesn't quite match, you can fix it. So I feel like maybe curve it a little bit more here so it matches this curve go that way and then adjust whatever needs to be adjusted so there we go now that's 
completely different from anything we've done because we had never done anything with curved edges before. So again, it's you can still connect things with curved edges as long as you match whatever side you're trying to close up. So connect corners just like we normally would, then match. So if we're closing up this side and that side at the bottom is curved towards the left, then the matching side that we're drawing also has to be curved towards the left at the bottom. If this one is curved in towards the right at the bottom, then when we close it, it also has to curve in in that same exact direction. So there's my completed U. The rest of these shapes have their own vanishing points, so each of the shapes you're going to connect to its corresponding vanishing point. So now I'm going to move on to this one right here. Connect corners as we've done in the previous videos. Inner corners are important too, so just because this one goes up doesn't mean you ignore it. You still connect it, so make sure you use that ruler, connect it to the same vanishing point. Same thing with this one. Don't forget this inner corner right here. Even if it's pretty narrow when you draw the edge, it's gonna give you a pretty narrow side, that's okay. You still have to connect it, you can't ignore it. Connect that one. And if we were to connect this one, we would be drawing through the front, which we don't want to do, so we leave that alone. Now, I've connected all of the possible corners that there are to connect. Now I have to close it up. So to close it up, I have multiple ways I can start. But what I'm going to do is find my first converging line that's in the middle. So if I'm looking at just this uh, corner right here, I have one, two, three converging lines. So I'm going to pick the second one. That's this one. I'm going to put a dot where I want that corner to be. So again, that was the second converging or orthogonal line. Those are the diagonals that go to the vanishing point. I put my dot where I want that corner to be. And then I start closing up edges. So line it up with this first horizontal. Keep the ruler straight. Bring it down to the dot and draw my first edge. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the vertical line here with this vertical edge. So line it up, bring it to the same exact dot and draw my vertical side. If you want, you can start erasing co uh, connecting lines as you go so that you don't get confused, like you know what you finished already. So now I have a completed corner. Now this one, it's open, you need to close it up, but you know exactly where that line is gonna go. It has to go right here at this very point because we've already established that as a corner corresponding with this inner corner. So when I line up my ruler horizontally, I'm gonna slide that down to that dot and draw my horizontal line. I can erase this line if I wanted to, or you can wait until the end and erase everything at once. It's your call. This side is very, very narrow, but it still has to be closed, and we know the bottom corner has to be that point right there. So I'm going to line up my ruler with a vertical edge, and I'm going to slide it towards that dot, just like that. So yes, it's a very thin, very skinny side, but that's okay. Uh, it's just because it's directly above almost that vanishing point that makes it so thin. So now I've established where this one is gonna end, where this narrow edge touches that converging line right there. That's where that would go. So I would line up my ruler there, slide it down, draw my edge, and be careful here not to erase too much since that is so narrow. But that's how you would connect that one. Now you might be wondering why is there a square on the inside uh, of that shape? Well, we are also connecting that to the vanishing point. So it's basically, think of this as a building because later we are gonna be drawing buildings and you're gonna be drawing shapes uh, like the ones you see here. And then you are gonna be drawing things on top of your building. So if you think about this as a building that we're seeing from the top view, from like an aerial view, then this would be like another room on top of the building. So you're gonna connect those corners to the same vanishing point. And don't go all the way, like you don't wanna go further than this bigger shape out here. So just kind of draw the line, but don't make them too long. Make sure they're going to the same vanishing point, like that. And then you close that shape. 
So how would you close that shape? Just think of it as an individual box. So these are the three converging lines. Put your dot where you want that corner to be. Line up your ruler with that bottom edge. Slide it towards that dot. Close it. Do the same on the vertical side. Like that. And then you erase your connecting lines that you no longer need. That's why we didn't draw those all the way to the vanishing point because it would be too messy down here. So sometimes if you know that you're drawing something that's going to be shorter, you can just draw those or connect those corners with shorter lines. So that's that completed shape. I've completed the outer corners and then I've also completed the corners for this smaller shape inside that one. And now it looks like it's a smaller room on top of this uh, bigger shape. So moving on to our next shape, we're gonna do this one over here. So I'm gonna start out connecting my corners. Now, some of these won't be too long like this one because you have this other line that intersects so you would just stop right there. This one, you do connect all the way. Same with this one. Same with this one. Now we know that's still a corner there. It might not be a very sharp corner, but it's still a corner. So you still connect it, same as all the other ones. And this last one is kind of wide, but it still goes to the vanishing point. Now, obviously we don't connect this one because we, then we have to draw through that shape. So that's how we connect all those corners. So every single possible corner that I could have connected is connected. Now, how do we start with the corners drawing the, the bottom edges? Well, find your middle converging line first. So if this was its own shape right here, just think of it, think of it as an individual box with three connecting sides. Pick the second one, so one, two, this is my second converging line. Put my dot where I want the edge to be. Line up my ruler vertically with that edge, bring it to the dot, keep it straight, and draw my line. Now I'll do the same thing for this one. Line it up, keep it horizontal. Don't like make your ruler get slanted, keep it horizontal. Bring it to that same corner draw your line. Now you have another corner here that you can use to close this one. So that's where we're going to stop on this following one. So we line up the ruler. This one is diagonal. It's not vertical or horizontal. It's diagonal. So you're going to keep the ruler in that same direction. Like don't straighten out the ruler. It has to continue to go in that same exact direction. Slide it down to the dot and connect it to that last dot that we had right here. So now these two lines are parallel. If you guys want to start erasing your connecting lines as you go, like I said earlier, you can. That way you have a very clear sense of where you're at. Now this is gonna be my corner for this side. This one's vertical, so I'm gonna line up my ruler, keep it straight, bring it to that dot, my next corner now this will be my next corner for this side so wherever this line ends that's where you start the next one or where the next one is going to end so you line up the ruler here horizontally keep the ruler horizontal bring it to that same dot draw the next one can you erase these connecting lines Here's where I'm gonna start my next one, right there. So draw your dot if you need to. If you don't feel like you need to draw dots, like you know where that corner is, you don't have to. That's just to have a visual reminder of where things uh, end. So line up my ruler vertically here, keep it straight, bring it to the dot, bring it down to there, and I have one more to do right here. So if you don't wanna draw a dot, you don't have to, but you can just, if you do draw a dot, keep it small. And then line up the ruler here, bring it down. There we go. So all that is left to do is to erase those connecting lines. So 
So that's one, two, three of these more difficult shapes completed. We have one left to do. This one has, again, its own vanishing point. So connect your corners. I'll try to do this one a little bit more quickly. This one will be really narrow edge right here. Really, really narrow, like you could barely even see it. But it's still there, so we still connect it. Connect all other corners. Make sure they're all going to the same vanishing point. And one last one. There we go. So we have a ton of different corners to work with in this particular one. I'm gonna start out here with my second converging line. So this one right here. So I'm gonna put a dot where I want my corner to be. So again, that's one, two, three. So you can just count to three from either the left side in or the right side in. This one's too narrow, so I'm gonna start here. That way I know very clearly where I want that to end. So line up the ruler, slide it down, keep it straight to the dot. There's my first etch. Second one, it's gonna be on the, that same dot. So this is vertical, slide it. This one, it ends right there. So that's where this other side will be. Line up the ruler horizontally, bring it to that dot. Draw your edge. Now this one's gonna be right here. So line up the ruler vertically, slide it down. This one will be here. Line up the ruler there, bring it down. There we go. Here's the next one. Line up the ruler, bring it to that line, to that dot. One more over here, horizontal. And this very, very last one, it will be really hard to see because it is so narrow. So you line it up here, bring it to that corner. You could barely even see it, but it's still there. And you erase your connecting lines. So basically, as a rule of thumb, when you're doing perspective drawing, just make sure that the sides match each other. So for example, the shape that I just drew that I ended up with here matches the initial shape here. So this and this has to match exactly. This and this matches exactly. This and this matches. And this and that matches. So if something is off, if something goes in one direction at the top but a different direction at the bottom, then you need to go back and adjust it. Otherwise, uh, that's it. That's how you do different shapes to one point perspective. Thank you.